Okay, so Telcom Kenya has opted out of a planned merger with rival Airtel Kenya. The firms cite numerous hurdles that bogged down the deal for the flop. Telcom Kenya CEO Mugo Kibati now says they will pursue an undisclosed strategic decision. Take a look. Statement to Newsrooms Wednesday, Telcom Kenya CEO Mugo Kibati said they will no longer be pursuing the proposed joint venture transaction with Airtel Networks Kenya Limited. While not divulging more information, Kibati added that the new direction by the firm will be underpinned on digital transformation. Telcom Kenya has also announced the withdrawal of a redundancy notice it had issued to staff in July last year ahead of the merger. The aborted merger was announced in February 8th of 2019. Airtel Kenya had agreed to buy Telcom Kenya. The combined entity was expected to create stronger competition for Safaricom, the market leader. However, the deal has faced numerous hurdles as the two firms sought clearance to execute their fare. This included a suspension order of the deal by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Authority while it investigated allegations about misappropriation of public funds at Telcom Kenya. While giving clearance to the deal, the Competition Authority of Kenya in a legal notice indicated that the merged entity was not allowed to sell itself for the next five years and must honor any existing contracts with government bodies. This was, however, ruled out by a competition tribunal in February this year after Telcom Kenya appealed. According to the Communications Authority of Kenya, Telcom accounts for 5.8% of Kenyan mobile subscribers as at the end of March this year behind Airtel Kenya, which had a 26.6% market share and is placed second after Safaricom.